Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about New York Fashion Week. It is coming up. And, um, you know, I just wanted to do a recap because if you know about Fashion Week, if you don't know about Fashion Week, um, they're usually about six months ahead. So spring and summer usually debut together six months ahead of time and then fall and winter debut ahead of time. So right now, the Fashion Week that you're hearing about is actually for spring, summer 2024. So the, that that's next year. But I wanted to take a second to recap some of my favorite um, styles, my favorite designers from fall, winter 2023. These are the trends that you're going to be seeing in the stores. These are the trends you're going to be seeing um, on the racks. It usually starts off with high-end fashion. And when I talk about uh, spotting trends, um, we see a lot of fast fashion, but that they get their trends from the higher-end designs, like the um, like the Marc Jacobs, like the Louis Vuitton, like the um, Balenciaga, uh, Marine Serene um, has, you know, has had a pretty, uh, a pretty standout collection. So they get their, their ideas from the top, Alexander McQueen, um, you know, Mason Margiela, Rick Owens, they get their ideas, um, you know, the fast fashion gets their ideas from the higher end. And then they translate it into lower brands. So that's what you're going to be seeing today. So what I want to talk about is what brands that I like. <laughs> what brands that I like and the trends that I like. So I'm just going to get right into it. One of the trends you're definitely going to show you on my phone because I can't actually share screen on Instagram. So we're all going to look at this together on my phone. Um, so one of the trends I really like that I've been seeing is corsets. Now it's Corset top, I like a lot because it can be styled in different ways. For example, this is by a brand called Widerhoft. I don't know if you can see this. The top, it's a red corset top and really wide like pants. You're going to be seeing that a lot. This hat is extremely high fashion. It's like a, it's like feathers. Um, it gives me like, you know, 70s vibes, 60s vibes. So you're going to be seeing that a lot. Um, see well. All right, you're good. So you're going to be seeing that a lot. Um, the corset top can be styled in a lot of different ways, regardless of what size you are, regardless of if you have, you know, uh, for me, I got a little bit of rolls <laughs> in my midsection. Um, so, yeah, so you're going to be seeing this style a lot. You can style it, you can put it right over that turtleneck sweater. You can put it right over that um, bodysuit. Um, you know, you can even put it over like uh, maybe like a mesh top, put a sweater over it, but it definitely is a statement standout piece that you're going to want to have this season and that you're going to see a lot in the stores. So what else? I also have a few things I want to share from Tory Burch. So Tory Burch is like for the, I want to say all American woman. It's very, it's very chic, very conservative, but also very fashion forward. So uh, for example, this is a combo I really like from Tory Burch. You're going to see this color combo um, a lot. This is for what I've said the, the last challenge I had, transitioning your summer into fall. This is a perfect example of transitioning a summer into fall. So the pants are like, you know, silk satin pants. She might have had from, you know, for example, you might have had from the summer. And then this is a navy blazer. Um, a beige top. This is like the perfect outfit um, for work, um, for going out. It's a statement without being too loud. Like if you're not a fan of like zebra or snakeskin, those are prints that are really in for the season. This is a perfect way to make a statement with A, things you might already have. And secondly, um, still being conservative and still being chic. So another look I like from Tori Burch, she's, she's like, she really utilizes the idea of the pop of color. So um, Tory Burch has, you know, the red top and then the neutral palette. The neutral palette is something that looks good on everyone. It looks good on every skin tone, size, shape. Definitely get some neutral palettes or some neutral items into your, um, into your wardrobe this season. If you haven't already, I know summer is a lot for bright colors and bold and vibrant. And that is fabulous. Also, you can wear it in the winter. Definitely get into some neutral house if you haven't already. It's the perfect way to make this thing without being so loud. So you can see the top is like a, a camel. The bottom is a um, kind of brown is this, not like a chocolate brown. So that's one of the things that I really like. Um, 
And like I said, a lot of the a lot of the designers I really liked as well. Um, so made some notes here. Alexander McQueen always has standout things. His tends to lean towards like goth. Um, it leans a little gothish, but it's also very fashion forward. Uh, Balenciaga is bold. Uh, gives a little streetwear. Uh, gives a little oversized. Um, you know, Rick Owens, Mason Margiela. Uh, they have very bold fashion forward collections. One of the things I want to show you is how to um, how to style. Let's see. I saw something about styling oversized shirt. I'll get to that. Um, but shoulder pads. Uh, am I? Oh, shoulder pads. So this is from Saint Laurent. This is from Saint Laurent Fall Winter 2023. Your, the, the big shoulder pads, 80 shoulder pads, they're not going anywhere. I thought that at this time, I, I remember the big shoulder pads started. Um, they came back a few years ago. It came back really quickly and then it kind of died down, but it looks like it's going to be back again. So if you see some things with big shoulder pads, it looks like it's a, a silk skirt. Silk skirt, perfect example of high transitioning summer to fall. So you're going to see the silk skirt, the big oversized shoulder pads, and it's still, I mean, it still can give very feminine because she has a deep, the deep, um, the deep, uh, it's not a V-neck. What is this called? Oval neck, a deep oval neck top. So that's something you're going to see this fall. Um, what else do I like? the color block situation. So color block is looking a little different in the fall. In summer, you see a lot of color blocks with like bright greens and pinks and oranges. In the fall, it's gonna look like this. And I, I kind of like this pattern. It, it's giving me 60s vibes. It's giving me, um, you know, that type of, that type of feel. So, um, you know, these are something you're gonna see as well. Um, like I said, the top really sets the trend and the bottom goes with it. Love this skirt maxi skirts is this a maxi maxi dress because it's all the way down maxi is so the ankles midi is like in the middle by the knees mini is above the knees and super mini is um a little bit below the waist <laughs> it's really really short um so these things i like this is from gabriella hurst um i really like this collection um that's gabriella hurst that is Brandon Maxwell that I want to talk about. I love his pieces because it gives the ability to transition. It gives the ability to style and to piece on and piece together. So with this collection, you see that, you know, there's a jacket, there's a leather, long leather skirt. This can be worn so many different ways. Like this jacket, for example, you can put it all for just about anything. The skirt is long enough to go anywhere. Um, so that's something I really like about Brandon Maxwell's collection. You can take it a lot of different ways. Laquan Smith is really good for uh, formal wear. This is, for example, this actually is a purple dress and has center cut out. He's really good for formal wear. You've seen his pieces on Beyonce and Rihanna and um, a few other celebrities. I think, what's her name? She divorced and GK, Machine Gun Kelly, Megan. Fox, Megan Fox. I've seen um, uh, Laquan Smith recently on Megan Fox. Altizara, I like. This is like my style. Lots of colors, lots of patterns. Um, you're going to see that a lot in the fall. Uh, lots of mixtures of, um, I want to say earth tones. These are earth tones-ish. That's Altizara. I love Altizara. I love all of their stuff. Um, so those are a few things that I like for this fall. Um, you know, the shoulder, the oversized shoulder pads you're going to see, you're going to see a lot of color blocking with light and dark colors. Definitely give that a try. The neutral palette is a must. You definitely need to get different shades of neutral, regardless of what complexion you are, regardless of what size you are. A neutral palette looks good on everyone. Layer on the neutrals. You can't lose with that outfit. It is a standout outfit. And also what I would also talk about is different textures layer on different textures. So you might have like a, a ribbed uh, a ribbed turtleneck and then you put like a, a you know, a, a wool blazer and then maybe a silk skirt. Definitely layer on the neutrals to get that extra pop of, um, that extra pop of style, that extra pop of chicness. And um, that's pretty much all I have for now. 
Um, you know, we talked about the corset trend. Definitely, you're going to see corsets. I would get one, um, let's say in black. Start with black. <laughs> Start with a black corset. And you can wear that out. I don't know. Everybody can't, doesn't have that type of freedom at work. Um, but you can definitely wear that out um, and layer it on to different, you know, events where you're going to be mingle, you're going to be social. That's definitely something that you need to have as well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's also Chanel. Chanel is really famous for the tweed, their plaid. It's not fall unless you have Chanel. So there's that part. So other than that, I think that's it for, for now. This actually is my last live for the summer. It's my last live at five for the summer. And I'm really grateful for everybody that's been tuning in. I've been dropping a lot of gems, a lot of good information about, you know, how to word things different ways, giving you some ideas, giving you some tips, giving you some hacks. Um, I'll be posting some of my content from my live at five so you can see it in smaller portions. Um, you know, my lives tend to be anywhere from, you know, 10 minutes to 15, sometimes 20, depending on the topic. So um, I'll be reposting some of my things. And I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me on a Thursday night. And um, we're getting into fall. And here we go. Let's do this. You know, I'll still be posting some more things. I'll be going live. But, you know, as far as what day, what time, if you want to see me continue to do live at five, let me know. I can be here Thursday at five. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you tuning in. And is there anything else? Let me check. Let me check. No, nope, well said. So that's it. Thank you so guys, so much, guys, for tuning in. Um, check out my page for style tips updates. Sign up for my um my subscriber email list. We do get uh, a lot of information. I say we because I also set myself emails. Um, <laughs> there is a lot of like really good information. Um, style tips, tricks, how to find sales, how to find deals um you know time saving tips um classic organization there's a lot of that in there um so definitely sign up for my mailing list and check out my website to see my recent work and all the other offers that are there so thank you so much guys have a good first day